Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of um, Phrases and Sayings. So today, as the title already describes, I want to talk about a phrase that goes, A fool and his money are soon parted. Now this phrase, it's common, but it's not frequently said, if that makes sense. For those who don't know what this means, it pretty much means that someone who's acting foolish with their money can easily lose it due to their own carelessness. The reason I wanted to talk about this particular phrase is just it hits home for me a lot. Um, not so much now, but in the past, I'll admit I've sucked big time when it comes to that. I was the fool who seemed to use to part with his money a like, got the money, gone in days. This was a stage in my life that lasted a certain amount of time. Now, I'm st I'm still at a point where I'm not the best with money, but I have gotten better. Um, but, nowadays, it seems it's very hard to implement this phrase given that the fool would basically be referring to anybody who spends, well, any money on anything that's not a direct necessity. Meaning, like, necessary bills or food. Like basically, if you're not paying for that, then you're the fool. And by bills, I include things like gas or it, it basically any kind of detrimental bill for you to be able to progress with your own personal life. For most people, gas is implied, included in that, so it counts. But I digress. Um, a fool and his money are soon parted. In regards to this phrase, I'm one of very few people who had been the fool for a very long time. I'm still partially the fool, but not as much as I used to be. And I kind of understand, like, the psychology behind it as well. Because it's kind of a two-way street. Every phrase has an opposing side of that coin. The side that goes off the idea that makes the phrase is coming from the perspective of someone who looks at somebody and says, you're wasting your money. If it's not, you know, like a living space or a car or phone for like the more necessary aspects or food or what, drink. I mean, if it's none of those, then there's a large chunk of individuals who'd say, that phrase and direct it towards anybody who spends the money on literally anything else. And yeah, that includes things like TVs and stuff like that because quite frankly, that technically falls under the category of a desire in the eyes of most. But there's also the opposing side of this coin where the fool is just someone, sometimes it could be just somebody trying to add a little bit more to their roster to keep themselves from going nuts. Especially after, like, s certain circumstances could happen to them where it makes it very hard to do otherwise. I don't know. I don't know. These are kind of just my thoughts on this particular phrase. How about you guys? Is that a phrase you'd like discussed on here as well? Uh, let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to check out any other um, phrases and or sayings that have been discussed on this channel, uh, click the link that's on the side of my head over here. Um, if that's if this series doesn't quite fill your boat and you want to pick find something else on this channel, click the link on the other side where something else that may fit your liking a bit more will be provided. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in to this video, everyone, and we hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.